Now that all the Year in Review episodes are behind us and you've already chosen your winners at the Hand at Feeds HQ Awards, it is time to, once again, go back to geeking about technical stuff in the music industry, especially tied to 2D music. In this episode, let's talk about some of your favorite composers for 2D music projects, as well as mine. Let's kick off this episode of Sayu Lounge. <laughs> Welcome to Sayu Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is 2D Music Composers, your favorites and why? This is a question that I raised on the Hand That Feeds HQ's Discord, you can find a link to it in the description and got some interesting replies in there that will be at the core of today's episode. A quick note though, the Hand That Feeds HQ's Discord is a quiet one in which people are respectful to each other and geek about music, technical stuff behind the scenes, say you artists and to the music projects. From time to time I appear there but given as I do not have that much free time available, it's more a place for you to hang out and share your love for Mail Say You and 2D groups with other people that love them as much as you than a place for me to be there all the time. Still, from time to time I expect to leave you questions there and you will end up featured on a Sayu Lounge episode such as this one. So, when you think about 2D music, what do you pay most attention to? Is it the performances, the voices in detail, the compositions, the stories, which is to say the lyrics or the whole package? For me, there are two things that instantly stand out given my passion for both the voices in detail and the compositions. And it seems some of you actually feel the same and wanted to share your opinions on it. After covering the opinions of some of the Hand at Feeds HQ's listeners and viewers, I will share mine as well, so do not worry. There are four composers that stood out. Yuki Onda from Art Refact, Ho, Tomohiro Nakasuchi and Akira Takizawa. Let's check them out. Yuki Honda For those that do not know, Yuki Honda is one of the most popular composers part of the composing team Art Refact. The team is known for its versatility, with all members being more geeky about specific music genres than others. If you want fancy, jazzy or elegant compositions, Yuki Honda can deliver those day in, day out. There is only another composer that I consider equally exquisite when it comes to those types of compositions, and it is Satoru Kwabara. And even according to Yuki Honda, Kwabara's compositions are crazy in his eyes. But back to Yuki Honda. The composer has more than 200 credits as a composer for 2D groups such as Byte, Sam, Cafe Parade and Legenders in the Idolmaster Sidem franchise, Eden, Akatsuki, Rabbits, Valkyrie in the Ensemble Stars franchise. And he has been a long-time composer for Takuma Terashima, Hiroshi Kamiya, and since 2019 he has been responsible for taking Shunichi Toki and Makoto Furukawa's jazz sound a step forward, creating crazy good songs. He's also lent his talents to songs by Tasuko Hatanaka, Spark Clue, and Zings. On the hand that feeds HQ's Discord server, Nadia said, Working with primarily 2D music Seiyu groups narrows the pool considerably, but off the top of my head it will be Yuki Honda, who's done works with the Saidem and Ensemble Stars franchises, with Moon Knight no Senishite being my favorite from those. I'd say the few songs that he's provided for Sparklu, such as Genfuke, are my favorites from that group as well. I believe that in general is a rather versatile composer. I'll add to Nadia's comment that there's something about Yuki Honda's songs that always makes me easily spot him on. The progressions in his songs, the melodies he chooses and the energy in his disruptive compositions make him an amazingly unique composer in my eyes and ears. Tomohiro Nakatsuchi this is a composer and arranger that, although not as well known among male Seiyu fans or 2D music fans on the male side, 
He's got impressive credits, not to mention he's lent his talents to create some of the most iconic songs and CDs by some of your favorite 2D groups. He's composed and arranged songs for Undead, Twink, Trickstar, Akatsuki, Hyuseitai in the Ensemble Stars franchise, Jupiter and W in the Idol Master Sidem franchise, Trigger, Idolish 7 and Zul in the Idolish 7 franchise, between many more. He is an essential part of Trigger's composition team, having worked on Diamond Fusion, Heavenly Visitor, Regality and Variant. Sakura Message, Opus and Hello Calling by Idolish 7 also feature compositions by Nakatsuchi. When it comes to Sayu artists, you can find some of these compositions on Trignal's Update today, Takuma Terashima's Sunlight Avenue, Tetsuya Kakihara's Get Over Here, and Tasuku Hatanaka's Real. He's also the mixing engineer in Tasuku Hatanaka's Twisted Hearts, easily one of the best songs in 2021, and one with a mixing so good that you want to listen to the song time and time again. Nakatsuchi is a versatile composer and arranger with a fantastic attention to detail when it comes to the mixing. I've yet to find a song in which he partake in any of those creation phases that has any mistakes or anything weird in there. So while he is not that well known or not often mentioned, Nakatsuchi is responsible for some of the most iconic CDs ever released by 2D groups. On the hand that feeds HQ's Discord server, Nadia said, Tomohiro Nakatsuchi also stands out for his work with Trigger, with Diamond Fusion, Zul, Luket, and some side M and Ensemble stars, as well as Tasuku Hatanaka's Summer Breeze. But it tends to be more female Seiyu oriented, so I guess it doesn't quite fit the bill. I do like the vibe of his compositions a lot more in general, though. So I'll pitch in here and say that a I love the vibe of Nakatsuchi's compositions and arrangements. He makes sure the songs are intense, but never overly so. There is always a layer of refinement to his compositions, with most of the groups ending up with a classy vibe to them. He composes pop and EDM with more frequency than other music genres, but as you can see from the 2D groups and CU artists I listed, he has credits from rock to pop, hip-hop, R&B, ballads and even synthwave. Everything is fair game for him. While underappreciated, Tomohiro Nakatsuchi is a fantastic composer for 2D groups and Seiyu artists. Hon, once a pivotal member of the rock band Old Codex and now a renowned composer and artist in his own right as Stereo Dive Foundation, Hon is for sure a composer you will find in 2D rock music projects. He has been the driving force behind the Dear Vocalist franchise, having composed over 100 songs for it alone, and has worked with the Fabulous Night franchise, A3's Autumn Troupe and Hypnosis Mike. When it comes to composing songs to male CU artists, you can find his work in Daisuke Namikawa, Tetsuya Kakihara, Kensho Ono, Hiroyuki Yoshino, Shotromori Kubu and Trados CDs. Hon is known for his core rock and EDM background, something that gives way to crazy, energetic and quite intense performances. The fact that he is multi-instrumentalist, which is to say he plays guitar, bass, synths and drums flawlessly, as well as being a singer, makes it so that his songs, even without lyrics, are able to tell stories to the listener in a vivid way. Lore on the Hand at Fuse HQ's Discord server said, all I know is Ron and his involvement with Dear Vocalist. There are so many Dear Vocalist songs that I love to the point where I do not have a favorite because they're all that good. One of the reasons for that is the composition. Interesting note, not only Ron is involved in the Dear Vocalist franchise as its composer since the start, but he has recently been promoted as its executive music producer this is crazy, but Ron has now complete creative freedom to create the music that fits the stories in the lyrics, instead of being given guidelines on how to compose the music for such artist. The results are here for everyone to see. All songs released since 2021, when Ron was confirmed of taking on the role of executive music producer for this franchise, the music took a massive leap creatively. 
given how the franchise was already filled with awesome music, now it is even more impressive. Akira Takizawa Pivotal for the success of the Tsuki Pro franchise, Akira Takizawa, or John San, as he is best known, is the composer behind Soara, Growth, and since 2016, Solid Z Songs. He is a prolific composer known for creating vivid soundscapes, giving life to unique stories, making voices shine and listeners lose themselves in all of it. As a composer for Soara, Takizawa delivers a youthful, energetic and carefree pop rock sound. With growth, he goes the lyrical way and brings the most fantastical instrumentals, borrowing lots of inspiration from Celtic music and mixing those with orchestral and chamber music creating some of the most unique songs I've ever heard. For growth, given the high degree of technicality of the compositions and the whole fantastical adventurous concept, the vocals are performed in lyrical style, something that in 2015 was the very first time fans of 2D music ever got to listen to that. And since that day, growth and thus Takizawa are pioneers in bringing lyrical music to the spotlight in the 2D music scene. And of course, for Solid's group that Takizawa only got to take over from the previous composer in 2016, after a series of disastrous releases, he delivers some of the most passionate, intense and sexy compositions you can get. Since then he has composed songs for the group in the most varied music genres. Rock, EDM, pop, lyrical, jazz, minimalistic electronica, R&B, and even ballads. As the most versatile group in the Tsuki Pro franchise, Solids have the most frequent music changes between CDs and even between member solo tracks. And for all these groups, Takizawa has composed music non-stop since 2015, managing something most composers aren't able to achieve consistent quality while continuously evolving sound to match the growth that each group has been going through in this decade. That is actually possible because this is a franchise in which the 2D idols and band members are actually getting older as the project grows older. As such, the sound can evolve and reflect that, always giving a breath of fresh air to the Tsuki Pro franchise and its groups. ML on the hand at FeedsHQ's Discord server said, If I had to choose only one, it would be Akira Takizawa, aka John Zeroness. The main reason being Groff's discography from Tsuki Pro. The instrumentals are so good that I listen to the off vocals quite often, which isn't something I can say about most songs. He's also incredibly versatile. I will always remember how shocked I was when I learned that he also composes for Solids and Soara. On top of that, he's a really good singer too. You all should check his Let It Be album. Yes, on top of being an amazing composer, Akira Takizawa also has solo work and even has created a unit project with Seiyu Junta Terashima. I feel like Akira Takizawa is underappreciated given his track record of quality and of constant reinvention. You can expect quality performance after quality performance with him in the composition team. My favorite 2D music composers. Now that I've uncovered your favorite composers, and you're free to share more in the comments as well, it's time to dish out mine. And I'm a big fan of intricate compositions, and so I will say Takeshi Hama, Akira Takizawa, Zakbi, Satoru Kuwabara, Leap, and Ron. Takeshi Hama is easily the best composer for 2D music projects out there. He arrived a bit later to the 2D music scene than many of the composers I mentioned in this episode, as well as many of my favorites. However, his composition skills are ridiculous. He can create layers and layers of music, giving way to intricate compositions that all make sense and that have no match anywhere else. The music Takeshi Hama creates is magical and insanely intricate, easily my favorite. Then I do love Ron since he was Old Codex's composer and with his departure from the band I found myself following his work until I came across the Dear Vocalist franchise and was blown away by what he could create within rock music that was not just electro rock 
or heavy rock. Since then he's turned into one of my all-time favorite composers for 2D music projects, and I can easily spot his compositions without even checking the credits. Akira Takizawa is an obvious choice for me, as the Tsuki Pro franchise was the very first 2D music franchise I properly followed since its inception. And I only became a fan of Solids, my favorite group in this franchise, when he started composing music for them, which says a lot. Satoru Kuwabara is a jazz and rock genius composer, enough said. Zach B has been impressing me a whole lot and quickly rose to my list of favorite composers for 2D music projects. And Leap only recently started to stand out to me and that's because I came across more and more compositions by them without even knowing. Turns out most of my favorite songs released in the past two years were created by them. Well, since then I've been a fan of their work and closely follow what they create next. But why did I run through all these composers so quickly? Because there is much more to come as the upcoming episodes are going to dive into some of the best composers for 2D groups and male Seiyu artists. I will talk about their quirks, standout compositions and let you know why you can't get their songs off of your head. I hope you look forward to the upcoming episodes. Yes, let's start geek about music composers because they also deserve the spotlight. Behind your favorite songs there are these and many more unsung heroes. Composers bring stories to life, they paint the canvas in which your favorite artists will add the final touches. They are responsible for getting you hooked on a song or even be the reason why you feel drawn to songs of similar style that you didn't even know all shared the same things between them, namely the composer. I love to get to understand how songs are composed, a big reason why my reviews are usually more technical than you'd expect a music review to be. And the more music I review, the more sensitive and attentive I am to the compositions starting to draw parallels between songs and ultimately finding out that the songs I love or that are standing out to me all have the same composer behind them. I hope that in this episode I gave you an interesting glimpse into some of the work these awesome composers have done so far. Now tell me, which is your favorite composer for 2D groups or male Seiyu artists and why? Let me know in the comments on YouTube and feel free to share your favorite composers as I will be talking about those and I may create another episode all about your choices. And remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Sayu Lounge. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the hand that feeds HQ's weekly mail Sayu and music related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Sayu Lounge. Thank you for listening and see you guys around. <music>